an advanced college football game for you for this Saturday here for a big game breakdown. We're going to talk about the Big 12 battle between Kansas and the Oklahoma Sooners. You know, you told me just even a few weeks ago, definitely a year ago, that, you know, this game would have one team that was fighting to stay top 25, another team that was out of the rankings. Well, we would all assume it was maybe Oklahoma's fighting, Kansas nowhere near, but Kansas has been the better team so far this season. And they finally lost last week, 38-31, tough loss against TCU. Depending on your line, it was six and a half to seven during the week. So it could have been a push or a loss. That would have been their first point spread loss going back to late last season. Uh, they'd won eight or nine in a row against the spread until that push slash loss this past week. So the question is, does Kansas bounce back this week or not? I'm not so sure. I mean, one loss I don't think is going to destroy their confidence. They're still playing really good football, explosive offensive team. But one team I definitely would be very careful with right now is the Oklahoma Sooners. They had a tough loss to Kansas State as a two-touchdown favorite a few weeks ago, 41-34. No shame in that loss. I think Kansas State and a lot of uh, experts agree have been an underrated team this season coming in. And they weren't out of the national title mix. So I thought they would be live at TCU a couple weeks ago. and. Not even close. They go in there as a five-point favorite. They lose 55-24. to 24. Halfway through that game alone, they'd given up four touchdowns of 62 yards or more to TCU. And then last week, a big rival game. Maybe they get up for arch-rival Texas. The Red, Red River showdown used to be the shootout. It definitely wasn't a shootout last week because they got shut out, 49 nothing. So what do we do with Oklahoma? I'd stay far, far away. But one thing I've noticed is that teams that are struggling when there's no focus, lack of effort in football, that normally shows on the defensive side. We have obviously seen that with Oklahoma the last three weeks. They've given up 41, 55, and 49, including a lot of those big play scores that I mentioned. I don't think anything changes this week. And I think the over is worth a look in this game. Surprisingly, it opened 65 and has come down by Tuesday already to 62 and a half. I don't agree with that early move. Obviously, Oklahoma did not score last week, uh, but they still put up 24 points or more in every of their other five games this year. They put up 33 points or more in their first four games this season. So this is still a good offensive team uh, that's averaging over six yards per play, 31 points a game. And Kansas is a very mediocre defense, 26 points a game, five and a half yards per play, but an explosive offense. So both offenses hold the edge in this game, and both teams are in potential flat letdown spots, which I think also shows on the defensive side. I like over the total, Kansas, Oklahoma, over 62.5 points. That goes at noon Eastern on Saturday.